Well, this is the first town in the state to call in help to kill aggressive coyotes, but after this attack, some say not enough has been done. I loved him to death. He was my my buddy. JJ was a beloved member of Chris Delgado's family. My dog was 15 and a half years old. It's been about part of our family forever. But Saturday night, a coyote pounced on the 11 pound silky terrier. I'm never going to forget that noise he made and, you know, taking him to the hospital and seeing him dying in front of me. It was horrible. Chris had taken JJ out before bed on his leash and they were just steps from home. I was not even 10 feet from my door and I just heard my dog scream and I turned around and looked and the coyote had him. And it was just like chaos, like it was just like commotion. A neighbor witnessed the attack. You can still see a little, just a tiny little mark right here. Her dog was bitten by a coyote just a few months ago. I have two little girls, like what am I supposed to do? Just barricade them inside the house forever? Coyotes have become such a problem in Nahant that the town became the first in the state to bring in experts to kill aggressive coyotes. So far, officials say one has been killed. The town needs to do more about it. Now, some say more needs to be done before the animals set their sights on other pets or people. This is a small town. It's one square mile and it's overrun by coyotes. It's ridiculous. Obviously incredibly sad for this family and no word back from the town on any plans to change how it deals with coyotes here. In the haunt, John Atwater, WCVB News Center 5.